its strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Defender of the weak. Defender of the way. I 
I will boast on the one who is worthy, who gave me life, who gave me peace, who gave me eternity, who healed my sicknesses. I will boast. to our feet saying I will boast in the Lord my God I will boast in the one the one who gave me life the one who gave me a career the one who gave me peace the one who gave me salvation the one who says I am the way the truth and the life he is worthy Lord bless your holy name with all our heart with all our mind with all our soul with our understanding that your name be glorified can we give a clap offering to the lord bless the lord oh my soul Worship His holy name. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Sing it. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship it. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, my Sing soul. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. I'll worship your holy I'll name. Worship your holy name. The sun comes up. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing. Again. Whatever may pass, Lord. Whatever may pass, and whatever, whatever lies before, before me, Lord. Let me be singing. Let me be singing when the evening Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, worship. I worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul, worship His holy name. Worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Lord, you're rich in love. You're rich in love and just go to end. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will be on sin.
Lord of my soul. Yes, the Lord of my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. I worship Your holy name. And on that day when oh, my strength is failing. The end draws near And my time has come Still my soul will sing your praise again Ten thousand years Ten thousand years and then forever Bless the Lord of oh my soul Worship your holy name. I'll worship your holy name, Lord. Praise and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And this morning, it's a joy for us to be here, praising and worshiping the Lord. For his goodness, for his grace is sufficient. Turn with me to a familiar scripture portion from Psalms 91. There's a familiar portion that the Lord has given us under the unction of the Holy Spirit written down by his saints that every time we read this scripture it strengthens us. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. 
I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. What a wonderful scripture that we have. A promising scripture that the Lord, he will be with us. This is the promise of the Lord given to us. I'm just going to meditate one portion from the Psalm 91. Where it says, no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels. That's what we are going to talk tonight, this morning. He, the Lord Almighty, the Father in heaven, has angels for himself. The angels who are ministering unto him day and night. And the scripture says he loves us so much that he will command his own angels to come and help us when we are in trouble. That is the promise of the Lord. Therefore, we can stand bold in all situations in our life. We don't have to be weary. We don't have to be worried. We don't have to be anxious because the Lord has commanded his angels to come and help us. This week I was meditating this Psalm 91 along with Michelle. I was teaching her and I was telling her some stories about how God can help us, how God can send his angels. I tell you, God can open up children's mind when we encourage them to learn the word and they understand that the angels will come and assist us. And they believe in the angels and when they can believe, we can believe because we know the scripture well. The Psalm 91 is a familiar psalm. As children in Sunday school, we had to memorize this psalm and narrate this psalm. But here it talks about some angels. But for years and years, especially in the Middle Ages, these majestic beings called angels have been neglected. But today angels are becoming more common and appearing everywhere. Many messages are being sent that I saw an angel. In today's world angels have become a fashion even in television programs. And even in secular channel when you turn we see these angelic bodies appearing. Angels are now in the forefront of people's imagination. We may wonder why. How is it that the secular people are connecting their movies, their magazines, their stories with angels in this 21st century world? Prior to that, they never even believed in anything supernatural. I believe it's because more and more people are realizing their own failures. They are learning to trust in something that is powerful than them. And they're depending on angels. But we who are Christians, we who are the children of God, we've got to understand our trust is not in angels. Our trust is in the Lord who created those angels. That those angels will, believe, will obey the Lord on his command, come and help us. There are times and situations that we go through certain problems. Last week I was discussing with some of my friends. When situations come against us and when we face some problem, we got to remember Psalm 91 and pray to God. And we got to remind those angels who have been commanded already by the Lord to come and assist us. Sometimes it's their failure that we are, we are not being aided. <coughs> Angels can also disobey God. Some of the disobedient angels have fallen from the glory of God. From the presence of God. So we got to understand God has appointed angels to come and assist us. So there is something more to life. There must be a spiritual dimension beyond what human mind can comprehend. Beyond what 
you and I can know here on earth. When the Lord is sending his angels, he's got some care, some concern about you and me. Today people are looking beyond themselves for help and for hope. And many people are looking for angels. Church, we got to understand angels are true and real. We don't have to be looking for angels. We got to be looking for our God. We got to be calling upon the name of the Lord. And believe that he will send his angels to watch over us. Believe that he will send, he will command his angels to come and assist us. So how does the Bible refer to angels? Here these verses very clearly refer to angels. That speaks that we are not alone on earth. As a believer we have the Holy Spirit. You got to be baptized in the Holy Spirit to have the Holy Spirit of God dwell inside you. That means we need not be powerless in this world. We got to be powerful in this world. The common sense that's for all people we do have it. And the Holy Spirit that's not for the world it's for the church. If you wait upon the Lord and if you call upon the name of the Lord. If you wait and he will fill you with his spirit you can receive the Holy Spirit. And when the spirit of the Lord is with you he who is in you becomes greater. Is greater than he who is in this world. And apart from all these, we have the angelic assistance to help us. And why do we have to fear when problems come our way? Why do we have to fret when trials come our way? Why do we have to run away when sickness come our way? We got to wait upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, look on the Lord. For he is the one who has given us this promise. And when we hold on to this promise, his promise will never go in vain. What he has promised will happen in our life. What he has promised will be fulfilled. He has promised goodness and joy in our life and goodness and joy will be there in our life. He has promised prosperity and success in our life. Therefore, we will prosper and be successful. He has promised victory in our life. Therefore, we'll be victorious. He has promised good health in our life. Therefore, we will have good health because the promise of the Lord is yes and amen. He's not a man to lie. He's above all. He's the creator. We've got to understand his ability is above any ability in this world. We serve a Lord who's able to do all things for us. We serve a Lord who's able to turn things around. When Joshua called upon the name of the Lord, he was able to see the sunlight through, throughout the night time that he could win that war. We serve a Lord who can make a way where there is no way. We serve a Lord who can recreate things for us. We serve a great big God. A God above all. He's able to do many things for us. He's able to deliver us. He's able to protect us. He's able to give us peace. He's able to give us joy. He's able to bring us out of the foulest snare. He's able to deliver us from the lion's den. He is our God. He is able... Give him all the praise and the glory and the honor. He is the Lord that we serve. And he says, I will command my angels to come and assist you when you are in trouble. When you are going through trouble, when things are going away from your hands, you got to trust the Lord will command his angels to come and give you supernatural assistance that you can do great things. Greater things that you will do than what I have done, Jesus says. Because he commands his angels to come and assist you. And he's already given us the Holy Spirit to be in us. To empower us, to strengthen us. That we could take every step of success in our life and keep moving forward. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? We have the Holy Spirit. We have common sense. We have the supernatural assistance of the angels to come and guard over us. Therefore, we need not fear in any sort of valley in the life that we travel. No matter what valley that we face. But we will go through valleys. We will go through dark situations. We will go through headaches. We will go through problems. We will go through trials and struggles and temptation. But through it all, we have the Lord who supernaturally sends his angels to assist his children to guard over us that our feet will not dash against any stone. 
he is the one who has promised we didn't ask for it we didn't ask for it because we didn't even know that angels live and the lord reveals the heavens and the angels you got to understand when the scripture says his angels he will command his angels his angels are around him isaiah says that the angels are around the throne of god singing holy 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 is the lord god almighty the whole heaven is filled with his glory the earth is full of his glory these angels are bowing and worshiping the lord singing glory to the lord in the highest and when we are in trouble the lord calls one of these angels who's singing and praising and worshiping the lord saying you stop this praise go down and as is my son my daughter who is in trouble he will command his angels to come and take charge of our life what a powerful god what a mighty god what a glorious god we serve he commands his angels the angels that are administering at his command the angels that are administering at his footstep around his throne he commands those angels to leave heaven and come down to assist that's how he loves us and what have you done to receive such great love what have you done what do we have that's why psalm says who am i that you are mindful of me lord who am i the throne that i have you gave it to me lord the crown that i'm wearing you gave it to me lord the ornaments that i have the silver the gold the precious stones everything that i have received that i have in my attic that i have adorned it's all from you lord who am i that you are mindful of me that you send all these gifts to glorify your servant who am i lord and he says i rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the lord and when he is in trouble angels come when we humble ourselves and when we go to god the angels will come to assist us martin luther the great reformer this is what he said about angels an angel is a supernatural creature without a body created by god for the service of christendom and the church of jesus christ the angels are created for the lord jesus christ by the lord jesus christ for his glory to come down and help us the lord is here to help us we need not worry about any situation in our life angels indeed exist their presence has been felt and there are many testimonies in history about angels let me give you one billy graham in his book that he has written about angels god's secret agents concerning reverend john patton Billy Graham writes this about this missionary Reverend Patton a missionary in the new Herbrights Island and he tells the thrilling story of how God protected this missionary John Patton and his family it seems that the hostile nation of natives surrounded the missions headquarters where this missionary was living with his family they came around one night and wanted to kill wanted to burn the entire mission center that this family will be destroyed hearing this this missionary john patton and his dear wife and children they huddled together and they prayed for god to deliver them through this dangerous situation they prayed and they just slept they awakened the next morning with much relief to discover that they were still alive 
but don't know what has happened and they just thank the lord for delivering them but the rest of the story goes this way a year later mr billy graham he says in his book the chief of the tribe was converted to jesus christ and mr patton the missionary he remembered what had happened a year back went to this chief and asked him what had kept him from and his men from burning the house that they were living in the chief replied in surprise who are all those men you had with you there the missionary didn't understand he answered there were no men we were just one family living there nobody with us no assistants no no servants no one just us just my wife and my children the chief argued that they that they had seen many men standing god many men standing all around their quarters hundreds and hundreds of big men in shining garments with swords in their hands they seemed to circle the mission station so that the natives were afraid to attack god sent his angels even today god sends his angels to protect us can we give a clap offering to the lord <clears throat> the universe is occupied the heavens and the earth is full of god's angels going up and forth and they may not appear to human eye but they come on the command of the father in heaven to assist us a thousand may fall at your side 10000 at your right hand but it will not come near you because he has commanded his angels to take charge over you therefore why do we have to fear why do we have to run away why do we have to be in worry elisha the great prophet of god and his servant one day were facing a dreadly situation as the soldiers from syria had come to attack them just this one man a whole army from syria has come to attack elisha it appeared that they were facing certain death situation and the servant of elisha was terrified he was scared because he saw the army attacking giving news that they are going to be attacked but elisha prayed and this is the prayer he prayed O oh God open the servant's eyes that he may see and God allowed that man to see with spiritual eyes and the servant observed row after row of chariots full of the hosts of heaven full of angelic armies of God the chariots of fire surrounding the people the the, the servant of God Elisha and it was there that he learned the powerful lesson they that who are with us are greater than they that who have come from syria can we give a glow clap offering to the lord all the demon forces that tries to come and attack us cannot stand against us when you call upon the name of the lord the power of god is so real as he embraces our lives even to the effect that angels are sent to minister and even to war on our behalf therefore why do we have to fear if you make the most high your dwelling even the lord who is my refuge verse 10 says no harm will befall you no harm will befall you in some one we read that everything that you do will prosper all that you do will prosper 
if there is no prosperity if there is some lack you got to start questioning these angels what happened to that angel who was supposed to come and assist me and you got to check your life you got to clean yourself why as the lord commanded but the angels are not coming then you will understand that you got to be right with the lord when you get right with the lord he will command his angels because you have made the lord your refuge and his angels will start coming he'll start being flowing supernatural assistance i believe the lord has helped us in many ways but one of the ways is sending his angels when we are struggling he will send his angels he sent his angel when peter was in jail the angel came and removed those chains and opened the doors and peter walks out of the jail he is the lord who will send his angels to assist you and me even today what is it that you are going through in your life he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways the scripture says whatever you do will prosper and the psalm 91 says in all your ways whatever you try to do for prosperity to come we need god's assistance we need god's power we need god's help we need god to help us and he send his angels to help us sometimes we cannot carry certain things then you'll be surprised how you did it some angel has come to help you that is how the lord will help you he will tread upon the lion and the cobra you will trample the great lion and the serpent but nothing will harm you for you will be lifted up by the hands of the angels that you will not strike your feet against the stone when you are walking the lord says he will carry you that's how he cares for you then why worry why are you scared why are you perplexed just be right before god just be true before god learn to pray because the scripture says that he will call upon me he will and i will answer that means you got to pray and receive all these blessings without pray we cannot receive these blessings it just doesn't come because we are christians you got to spend time with the lord you got to wake up in the middle of the night kneel down and pray and cry unto the lord for help and he will send his angels to help you in the daytime certain things doesn't happen to us because we are not seeking the face of the lord Verse 15 says he will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. He will call upon me. We don't call upon him. We call upon all the assistants. We may call upon the angels. We may call upon other friends. we may call upon brothers and sisters those are all good but the lord says he will call upon me and i will send all these assistants when the lord sends he will equip when the lord sends an angel the angel by himself cannot come and do anything because he has to obey the command of the lord shall we all stand to our feet church we have a lord who answers our prayers he will call upon me and i will answer him who said this who said this the lord almighty yahweh jehovah jaira the lord who provides everything that we need he says ye will call upon me and i will answer him he says we will have a personal relation you will call upon me and i will answer you i will be with him in trouble i tell you when you're in trouble the lord says i myself will come and be with you I will be with him that's why he has sent the holy spirit we have the holy spirit to be with us how the lord has fulfilled the old testament in the new testament by sending the holy spirit to be with us all the time what a holy god we serve he keeps his promise he is faithful am i faithful Am I faithful for him to fulfill that promise? I will deliver him. 
And then he says, I will honor him. How many of you are in struggle today? Anyone going through some kind of struggle? Just put your hands up. Sometimes you may have stood, you may have vouched for a person and that person betrayed you. And everyone is accusing you. They say, because of you I believe that man, because of you I believe that lady, because of you I started to go and do this, because of you I did that. With good heart you try to support. With good heart you try to do something. But now everything is falling back. The Lord says, I will deliver him and honor him. The Lord will honor you. He will not put your name to shame. He will not put your name to shame. The Lord says, I will honor him. In the presence of your enemies, the Lord says, I will give you a banquet. I will honor him. What is the struggle you are going through? The Lord is ready to deliver you. The Lord is ready to deliver you. The Lord is ready to send his angels. The Lord is ready to help you. You get ready to receive that help. Are you ready to receive that help from the Lord? Are you ready? Just tell him, Lord, answer me, Lord. My help comes from the maker of the universe. My help comes, therefore I will lift my heads up and I will walk. I will not be put to shame. Thousand may come and fall on my side. Ten thousand on my other side. But it is not going to attack me. I may go through the valley. But I still will stand firm. Because he who is in Christ is a new creation. And he will have supernatural assistance from the Lord. And nothing can befall you. Nothing harm can happen. All that you touch will prosper. In everything. In all your ways. You will prosper. How many of you want to prosper in all your ways? Some of us prosper in some of our ways. You need the grace of God. You've got to follow the guidelines of the scriptures. That all your ways, in all your ways you will prosper. Tell yourself, I'm going to prosper in all my ways. I'm going to prosper in all my ways. I tell you from today, you've got to prosper in all your ways. In everything that you do. In everything that you do. Whatever you touch should turn to goodness and joy. In your home, there must be goodness and joy. All that I do will prosper. I'll be successful in everything. That's the promise, church. That's the promise. You've got to hold on to that promise of the Lord. He will command his angels that he will come. Humble yourself before the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord. And do good. And see how the Lord will help you prosper. And climb up. You will not fall. You will be the head and not the tail. For the Lord will help you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for this wonderful service. I pray for the ones who lift their hands and say I need help. I pray for your supernatural assistance Lord. Help your children. Help them be overcomers, Lord. Help us know your truth. Because your truth can set us free. Help us come out of our carnality. That we may obey you. Help us not to live in a lie. Because liars go to hell. That's your word. Help us understand the truth. For the truth will set us free. Help us realize not to manipulate situations, not to manipulate, intimidate or dominate. That we may humble ourselves to know your will, which is good for us. Bless your children. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide upon each of us forevermore. Amen.